Hey, it's Justin from 29th Century Guitar. Today I'm going to go over uh, part two of the caged system that I started. Um, and in the first video I showed you how to take each of the C, A, G, E, and D chord shapes, move them up the guitar um, in what's called the cage system. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to play a major scale um, in each of those positions. So you're kind of able to start playing, you know, things across the neck, whether it's improvising or um, creating melodies, writing riffs, learning songs, whatever it is, you know, learning the system, I think, kind of starts to expand your, your playing. Um, so hopefully it'll help you guys out. Um, so for the PDF of all the major scale shapes I'm about to play, and as well as the chord shapes from the first video, uh, just check out my blog. Um, again, it's www.29thcenturyguitar.com. Um, there you can just print them out or put them on your computer so you can follow along. And I suggest doing that because um, just so I'm, you know, I'm not going to spend a ton of time going through each scale. I'm just going to kind of play it once or twice, show you the position, and move on just to kind of demo it. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to do them all in the key of D. Um, we're just going to go in order of the uh, caged system. So we're going to start with the C shape. But again, we're, all these are in the key of D major. Um, basically, how I like to do it, I like to go from the lowest root note to just the highest note in the position. Then I come all the way back down to the lowest note in the position and then back up to uh, the root note D. So let me show you. So the first one, uh, this is the C position, again, in the key of D major. So we're going to start with D on the 5th fret of the A string. So again, the C position was taking the C chord, moving that up to D, which is right here. So I'm going to play a scale, that a major scale that, that uh, just belongs to this position. Um, so it sounds like this. Again, I started on the lowest root note D, played at the highest note of the position, so which is A, it's it's not a D. The D is actually here. So if you were to play one octave of the scale, you would get. But if I want to go now all the notes position, I would play. Come back, go all the way down to the lowest note in the position, which is an F sharp, back up to a D. That's just the way I like to practice it. Um, you can do whatever you want. But all the, those are all the notes in that uh, C position. Um, so the next position we're going to do is A. So I'm going to take an A chord, like I showed you in the first video. Move that chord up to here, which I get a D. And I'm going to play um, a, a D major scale in that position. So again, using the same formula as I just did, um, starting on the root note. Um, sounds like this. Okay, so the next is the G position. Again, taking the G chord. I'm moving this up to the, the key of D, which is here. And I'm going to play a D major scale, again, the same scale I've been playing, in the G position. Looks like this. Uh, this one's a little bit different, uh, just like actually the A one, I didn't mention it, but both those, um, you know, you have to kind of shift your hand back and then forward in, in this position. Um, you also have to do a little bit of that in the A position. So um, what I suggest is, uh, you know, again, making sure you look at the PDF and just looking at all the finger positions and um, I have the, the finger numbers on there so you can easily kind of navigate that. Okay, so uh, we've got two more. We've got the E position. Here's a key, uh, E chord. I move that up to the key of D here. I'm going to play a major scale in this position. This is a, a, 
don't know if they're even easy or hard. Uh, this one, again, is kind of like the first position, the, the well, the C position, because I don't have to do any movement outside of the, this kind of box. I can just use four frets, so it looks like this. Okay, again, these are all in the key of D, so I'll show you at the end how you can kind of combine them a little bit, um, uh, and uh, you, know, you can use that uh, to help you, you know, move through them. Um, so the next one, we got the D position, D chord. I'm gonna move this D chord up to the key of D, um, kind of like I showed you before uh, in that last video again. There's a D chord. We're gonna start on the lowest root note. However, this is, the, this is kind of a more interesting one because the lowest root note starts all the way here, uh, which isn't that low of a note, but um, the position is the lowest root note. Uh, when I come back, you'll see it goes pretty far back on the E and A string, but there's no root note there um, in terms of you know the scale we're playing. So if I start D here, I get So let me show you a quick just overview of how you can switch between a couple of them. So if I'm in the C position here, at the root note, you could play it up to practice it, come back, and I could switch my finger here, and start the A position. If I'm in the A position, to get to the G position, you could do something like this, switch here, kind of in the middle, and then now I'm in the G position. Um, these are just a couple random examples, so I, I, again, check out the diagram and you can see where to switch yourself and you know, there's just kind of a couple options. Then if I'm in the G position, I could actually just, you could switch really anywhere. You could switch on the way back down. You know, the E position. Um, then if you're in the E position, to switch to the D position is pretty easy because you go to that second octave. There's the D position. I'm in that one. So those are a couple examples. Uh, I'm sure you can get more creative with it than what I'm doing right now. Uh, so hopefully this is kind of helpful. Uh, send me an email, leave me a comment um, in, in, on my blog, on my, on my site, uh, and let me know how it goes for you. Or if you have any you know, questions you want to want me to go over, I can probably answer an email for you. Um, okay, thanks for watching.